What's up guys? It's Bigfoot back in the leg room with, I mean quite obviously, the Banish Garrison pack. Um, I've had this set for quite some time. Um, I have just been procrastinating. Um, sorry for your background noise. Um, reviewing this and opening this, and I don't know why I have, but I, I just have. Um, but I'm really excited for it. Um, it's going to be a really uh, nice addition. Um, oh, I did not bring in my other figures. I want to do a comparison between the um, the Chieftains, the Elite, and the Grum Mule, and the Brute. Um, but maybe we'll do that in a separate video of just comparing different characters and whatnot. Um, to look at the back real quick here, um, I am going to be, I would like to point out that the armor, the portrayed the armor coloring, looks more of a darker and more of a fl uh, silver flake to the armor. As you see here, it, it's more flat um, and a little lighter shade of red, I think. Um, but you do get the Spartan, the cool marine with the uh, ski mask, and the three um, enemy characters. So we're going to pop this bad boy open. Um, as you can, as most of you know by now, there is a pool tab. Sorry for the reflection. Uh, I'm trying to figure the lighting situation out a little bit better in this room, but uh, we'll put it down, and there goes the Hydra flying. Okay, the Marine still in there. The little platform. Oh, I was taped in. Okay, interesting. Um, and there's a, also an instruction booklet. Slide that down, throw that to the side, pick up the Hydra. Okay, not sure how well you can see this on the ground, but uh, you get a spike grenade and a frag grenade in this little black bag in, with a um, clear stand. Um, here comes a backpack and the other stands for the figures, and the jetpack and the pod. Weapon pod uh, thing, some more weapons. Um, the grunt mule came disassembled. Um, the grunt mule does not feel very, um, the backpack is very weak. Uh, is I just see him off the. <sighs> yeah, it feels his backpack is, is very, very loose. The connections are very poor, um, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much I like that. That's not very great. Let's pull out the stand real quick. Oh, we can stand it really well. Um, and the grunt mule's helmet also is very, very loose, which is not the most exciting thing. God, I'm having... Goodness, I'm having some trouble getting this on. The stand. We'll put the weapons in their hand also. I'm gonna actually cut right now and we'll get to all the characters on the stand for you. Alrighty, so we have all of them put out on their stands. Um, enough, there was only enough stands um, for the personal figures or like these single figures um, for the standard ones or the standard, standard stands. Yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> um, you get this big stand specifically for the jump pack uh, brute. Um, but who should we start off with first? Oh, let's start off with this. Um, obviously, you get just a normal um, AirPod cannon. I can't remember. What I cannot remember what these are called exactly. Comes with a handle here, so if the Spartan wants to take it off, um, he can still use it. I think that's the purpose. Um, but pretty good. Um, I think we've had a couple of these so far. I have quite a few actually uh, so far. But nothing crazy, just another addition to the army, essentially. Um, I did kind of show off the Grunt Mule, so I'll show him off one more time. Um, like I said, he doesn't have the best backpack connections, or the strength of the backpack connections aren't great. Um, two shock rifles and the grenade on his back. Um, a decent skin tone, and um, yeah, just another Grunt Mule. Um, we'll go off to the Elite Mercenary. I was really excited for the Elite Mercenary because I don't have a Red Elite yet. Um, in the new articulation and with the Halo 3 helmet style. I have the green, the purple, the blue, two different colors of blue um, from the recent releases. Um, 
and I really am happy for this one. I didn't, I don't have the Spartan customizer pack that has with the Red Elite. Um, I can't get my hands on one of those here. Um, but this Elite is really, really nice. Um, he's having a hard time um, putting something in his hands or uh, holding on to anything. So I'm not sure that's a QC issue quite yet. It might be. Um, but he does come with the updated hands with the, the accurate fingers. Um, nice paint applications on his chest and his... It's only paint applications, actually. Nice silver accents to his uh, nice crimson red. Um, just an absolute... I love this figure. I'm really excited for him to... Or to have one of him in my collection. Uh, just really, really pleased with this character. On to the Jetpack Brute. Nothing crazy. No crazy paint applications. His face is kind of a dull... Um, face I just really really pale that was kind of unfortunate um, nice hair detail on his forearms and also updated hands with this brute he came with a mauler another spike grenade um, nice paint applicate or uh, paint choices or color choices I guess um, I guess you could say this is painted actually um, as you can kind of see different coloration from the as straps for his backpack um, let's see if we can get it off yeah, there we go. There is definitely a paint difference. Now that I notice, there is paint application. Um, this is a more of a dull red. This is more shiny. This is more flat and dull. Um, but one of the older style um, brute jetpacks, which looks great. It looks good. Um, overall, a great figure. Um, and this nice crimson red type of brute in that color. Just really good. Um, onto the Chieftain. The Chieftain is really good. Um, I really, really do like the Chieftain. I don't understand why the Chieftain and the uh, regular Brute don't show the same head uh, color. That I feel was really, really dumb and a big mistake on Mega's part. Why would you have a different skin tone essentially for this character compared to this character? They're the same species um, in universe. Um, but the armor color and paint applications are just phenomenal. They look really good. Um, just super, super good. Kind of a mustardy yellow armor um, in person. Um, but just looks really good with a plain gravity hammer. Just super stellar chieftain. I just am really pleased with this character. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the head color compared to the other brute is just, I don't understand why there was a difference. Um, on to the Marine. I know a lot of people are excited when this first got released for the Marine because of the ski mask. I know the Call of Duty has this one, but it just looks works really well. Um, I'm pretty sure the visor color on this Marine also is a different color, matching the Spartans. Um, he does come with the Commando, or I gave him the Commando at least. Um, he has a frag grenade and a, and a thigh pouch, a standard backpack, an ODST arm piece, and another Spartan arm or shoulder armor piece. Um, I think he's a good... Um, um, not rendition, but just good choice of, or variety, a nice variety to this character for being like a spec ops, maybe, or special operations, maybe not an ODST, but right below the step of ODS, step below ODST. Just a really good figure. I know a lot of people are excited to have him. And now into my personal favorite, I believe, out of all of them, is the, Mer or the Spartan. Not a crazy amount of, of, of paint applications, but just enough. Um, like on the hip area is a different color. Um, the visor matches the visor on the marine. And kind of a green. And then the brown and olive green on the chest and shoulder pads just look amazing. I love this flat, not flat, but military gray. It looks more realistic to me what Spartans would have in, in Halo Infinite. You know, instead of those crazy yellows and, and just different colors blues this i feel is very accurate um it's just really good i love the helmet especially on this character and this new style kind of resembling the recon i just super super good i really love this design um, this is probably one of my favorite figures for it's been put out um, besides the halo hero series um he's pretty solid um, detail wise and just overall just a really good character to have and I'm really pleased with the, how, how he turned out um, but yeah guys that is the the review of this of the garrison pack uh, it came on sale it was on 
Amazon for about 20 bucks. I was able to snatch one up pretty fast because usually these things go pretty dang fast on Amazon um, if you're not fast enough. So yeah, guys, that's the review. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and definitely subscribe if you're new. Um, if you're not new and you're a good old uh, subscriber, like the video and share it. I love you guys and I appreciate it. Take it easy.